Hi YouTubers. I just thought I'd share with you a new development. Using the engine's heat to warm up the oil to filter it quickly. Somewhat necessary in the winter. Let's take a look. Here's an oil barrel that's pretty much filled with liquid oil. There might be a little bit of solid at the bottom. But I've got a hose coming out of it there and that probably only goes down about a foot. I put a bit of mesh over the end to exclude any large solids. So if we follow the pipe, What we've got here is a heat exchanger from a combi boiler. A heat exchanger from a combi boiler has been installed that runs off the hot water from the engine and that is taken as a parallel circuit off of the heater matrix, uh, you know, the cab heater. So there's two hoses that will go into the cab. So one of them will be hotter than the other one, one out, one return. So the hot side obviously plummet into the um, to the heat exchanger. You should know what you're doing by now, anyway. Turns on and off there. So, because I found that a gravity feed wasn't fast enough, what I've now got is a small garden pump that's pumping the, uh, the juice through, sucking it up, and I'll show you where it goes in a minute. But uh, here's my uh, concoction. I've taken the weight off the drill with a bungee cord, as you notice, and stopped it from turning with a stick. Now let's, let's follow this one. Here we are. Here's a good old Henry Hoover bag, stuffed in an old plastic uh, bottle. And that's my funnel, and as you can see, the oil's making its way into there, nice, good rate, really, you know, quite a good rate. And uh, that's going to fill up before too long. So, I hope you feel inspired to do something like that yourself. Use a, uh, a heat exchanger, a nice big one out of a combi boiler, a good quality one if you can find one. Valent seems to be good quality. Check that it's got uh, no leaks on it before you use it, obviously. Okay, good luck.